Today we're starting a new series called Made in RVA. We feature local makers and people who live in the Richmond area creating unique products. We decided to start on a sweet note with Jessica Leonard. Jessica created Miss Maud's Chocolate Bar after a trip to the grocery store had her buying multiple bars to try every flavor. She invented the character of Miss Maud, a bon vivant from the 1920s, who doesn't have to choose. Jessica created a unique way to put eight different flavor squares in one bar, and I got to help her make one. We are so excited to be with you. Very excited to be your first maker. Yes, this is really cool. What a fantastic thing to do. And this really spoke to you. We learned why you got started, uh, what motivated you to make these custom bars. You're gonna show us how it's done today. Yes, yes. Really cool, let's get started. I'm gonna learn my secrets. Okay, All right. we won't tell anyone. You're right. <laughs> All right, so we are going to start over here. Okay, so this is this, a delightful looking chocolate yeah. bath. This is a tempering machine. It does all the things that usually are done on marble by hand with the machine. Much okay. better. All right. So I'm going to give you this mold. Okay. And you're going to step on this pedal. Okay. And you're going to hold it down the whole time, not like a car. Okay. You're going to hold it the whole time. Ready. And when it stops, step on it. you're going to stick in it in there. and oh. leave it. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And leave it in until it stops. Okay. And then take it out. out. Here. And then, perfect. We're going to put it on here, and it's going to vibrate. And the okay. reason you do this is to get rid of air bubbles. Air bubbles bring in bacteria, the chocolate doesn't last as long, it's not pretty. So we let this go for about 30 seconds or so, and then we take it off, mm -hmm. we dump it out, and okay. we've got a shell that okay. looks like this over here. Yes. And so I'm gonna let you fill this up. Okay. And what makes this special is, it is one bar with eight different pieces, I mean flavors in each piece. So it's like a box of chocolates in a bar. That is so fantastic, and, and yes, you heard that right. Eight different kinds in one bar, and that was really a big part of this. You wanted to have some variety in, in having a little indulgence, right? Right, I was buying eight different chocolate bars, and really all I needed was a piece of each. I didn't need eight bars, I just needed eight flavors. So. Yeah. That's how I came up with this. I love it. We talked about, uh, when, before we got started, but I hadn't yet talked about it here with you, you custom designed these molds so that each one, when the chocolate comes out, is printed. I mean, you've solved so many things here. We get a variety right. of flavors. This deals with my picky eaters. Yes. <laughs> this is your Whitman sampler. It's your maps, what you're eating, but this is actually imprinted on the bar. Yeah. So, so you know what you're enjoying, exactly. which is really cool. And a beautiful, beautiful selection of different fillings too. So I can go ahead and get started, right? Yes, and I've got them laid out in order. You're gonna okay. start with Marcona almonds in okay. your upper left corner. And I know where they go. Exactly, and I try to get a hefty amount in there. Okay, I'm seeing three, so I'm not yeah, gonna- Yeah, that's perfect. Not gonna overdo it, um, then a caramel. And then, yeah, you're gonna put a caramel. And then we've got an Earl Grey ganache. Yum. What wonderful flavors. What inspires you, Jessica, in getting these flavors together? Definitely traveling. Um, the Marcona almonds are from Spain. Caramel is traditionally an Arabian treat. Mm -hmm. Earl Grey, afternoon tea. Um, these are tart cherries, Japanese tart cherries, cherry blossoms. Mm. Um, this is a Himalayan pink salt. My mouth officially just started watering. <laughs> Excellent. And then, of course, we've got Veuve Clicquot champagne. Easy inspiration there. Champagne and chocolate, yes. Okay. And then this is a hazelnut praline. Yum. Italian hazelnut praline. Beautiful. And then we've got southern rice, and I caramelized this, so you've got a nice crispy rice. Fantastic. So these are your, this is your traditional bar, and you must, you said you get inspired by travel, be looking for the next thing. Do you, you have an inside track on what that might be? Well, I can tell you what I have in the works. Okay. It is the SSB bar, and that stands for your secret single behavior. It's what you eat when you're alone. So think saltines for breakfast, peanut butter for lunch, and a bowl of cereal for dinner. Mm -hmm. We've all done that. So it's going to be you know, an anti-Valentine's Day bar. Yeah, and right in line with the spirit of Miss Maud, for sure, because she's, she's feisty. Yes. She's a feisty lady. She's a bon vivant from the 1920s. She prioritizes travel and adventure over obligation what we all want. Well, and she <laughs> likes chocolate, so yes. she's my kind of gal. So we filled this one. Next step would be to give it its final chocolate coat. Yeah, so we'll put a top layer of chocolate back over the machine, and then we let this set for a little while, and then it is ready to unmold. Okay. 
Delicately. And they came out well. Yep, and so you can see the custom printing on each one of those, which is great. And then you know, of course, we've got to do a little quality control, right? Right, right. So. I'm sure they're great, but we have to prove it. Right. So which one is our, which one's your favorite? I don't think you should have a favorite. Okay. I think you should love them all, but okay. I will say champagne is one of my favorites. I'll let you do champagne. I'm gonna hunt okay. for that sea salt flavor. Where was that? Right there. The pink Himalayan salt. Yes. All right, cheers, my dear. Congratulations. Made cheers. in RVA. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful stuff. We're so glad that you've uh, landed here.